Hi, my name is Rose, and today we're going to talk about how to reduce the file size of your 3D model through a process called decimation. It's extremely quick and easy to do in 3D Slicer, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is drag and drop my 3D model that I've created into the 3D Slicer workspace. This window just confirms for me I'm loading a model, not a volume, so I'll click OK, and my model will pop up. Now I can make a few changes to our screen here. I can lower the three perspectives so I can see my 3D viewer better and look at my model. I can also change the color of my model by simply clicking that colored square next to my model name in the left side menu. And I'm just going to choose something a little closer to natural bone color and leave it at that for today. Click select. And if we do a quick examination of this model, we can see it actually has extremely good detail from the CT scan. This is a proximal fragment of a cave bear femur, and you can see all that exposed trabeculae and that great detail in the medullary cavity. So our goal for today is to reduce the file size by decimating this model without losing that incredible detail. So you can either navigate to the right module by going to Surface Models and then Surface Toolbox, or you can simply click on the magnifying glass and type in Surface Toolbox. This is the module we're going to be using today. Now that we're in that module, under Input Model, I'm going to select the cave bear femur. This is the model I want to make smaller. And under Output, I'll select Create New Model As and just give it a distinctive name. Now I simply click Decimate and I just have to choose how much I want to reduce my model by. So I'm going to leave this at 0.80 for today, but you just have to experiment with your model to find the right amount of reduction so that you're not losing quality, but you get the file size that you need. And simply click Apply. Now depending on how big your original file is, this may take a minute or two, but generally it is pretty fast. And now that it's completed, you can see our model has changed colors. That's um, This in yellow is the new reduced file, and I can toggle between the original model and the new model by selecting this toggle models option. And you can see that that text input and output keeps changing as I switch between those two models. This can also be done by navigating to the data module and turning on and off the visibility of those models with the eye icon. Now, I'm happy with the detail that we're still capturing with this newly decimated model, so the final step will just be to save this new model and check out our new file size. So for this, I'm just going to click the Save icon in the left-hand corner. And I'm only going to select my new decimated model. I'll switch that file format to an STL, and I'm just going to direct by clicking the ellipses, direct that file to go to my desktop and click Save. Now I've checked our model and our file size was reduced from 356.2 megabytes to 152.6 megabytes. So we finished our goal for today, but I'll just quickly show you what it looks like if you over decimate your model. So I'm just going to speed this process up, repeat the whole process, and intentionally over reduce that um, already reduced, already decimated model, just so you can see what going too far would look like. So as you can see, we lost all that detail that we loved about the first model. So we'll just have to find a balance when you're reducing models in getting the right file size, but keeping all that detail. I just want to say thank you to the 3D Slicer team for making this software free for everyone to use, and subscribe below for more tutorials from our lab. Thanks!